Hello my friends, today we are back in Luminar Neo and we are going to create a composite. We will create this image here with the hummingbird and the butterfly. And this image was a composite between these two images. As you can see, this is the hummingbird and this is the butterfly. It just so happened that this butterfly was on this flower and then when the hummingbird approached, the butterfly flew away. So I just, uh, you know, I couldn't get them both in the shot at the same time. So I mixed them both in, you know, post-processing. It also uh, worth to note that I also changed the composition a little bit. Once I combined those two images, you see I added more background onto this side because the butterfly, I felt like it was a little bit too much to the edge. And then the hummingbird was too much in the center. I wanted them both to be kind of like in the rule of thirds. So I'm going to show you how to do all of that. To start, I will start with the hummingbird photo. And I already did the basic edits on these images because I didn't want you to just sit around and watch me edit hummingbirds. You've seen me do that many times. And hopefully you are very comfortable doing that by now. So I have this image of the hummingbird and I have to bring in my image of the butterfly. To do so, into the edit, I will go over here into the layer panel and click on this plus icon. And then I have to load my image and I will load my butterfly image. And there is my butterfly image right here into my images. Now to bring it as a layer into my hummingbird image, just double click on it and Luminar Neo we will, we will bring it in as a layer. There you go. Um, usually when you bring in a layer, it will come at 50% opacity. You see, if I put it at 100%, that is my butterfly. And this is great. I'll keep it at 50 just so I can see where it is. And now I will take my mask, I will take the brush, and I'll just paint over it to reveal this butterfly. You see, it kind of went away. Now it came back, and I am going to go to the properties, increase the opacity at 100 now, and back to my masking, to my brush, and I'll paint with this brush to reveal my butterfly. Let's see, something like that. I'll just do a rough paint, just to have it in there. And there you go. Now you can see the exposure onto my butterfly. Maybe it was a little bit darker. I could try to raise the exposure and match it. But you know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to erase um, the edges. So go to erase into your brush with a very, very, very soft brush. You see my uh, softness is at 100. I'm just going to loosely paint around it. And that will be good enough. Nobody will know. You can try to match your exposures if you want to have a better result. But for me, this is just, it's just fine. I just did this for Instagram for fun. And there you go. There is our butterfly into our composition. Now, like I said, there's two things I want to do. One, I want to reframe my image. I want to add some background into this side. And also I want to remove this stem of this flower because it bothers me. It just goes through the you know, hummingbird side over there. So how do we do that? Um, I've tried to do this into Luminar Neo, like on the main image. I tried to go with the erase tool and erase this part, but it was not giving me a good result. And I'm going to show you the erase tool. When you try to do something like that, it really doesn't work. So I did erase. It takes a few seconds to work. And you see, it's just blotchy and it doesn't work. So I'm going to reset it. Then I thought, okay, well, I'm going to try something else. I'm going to duplicate the background layer. I'm going to go to D to duplicate the background layer. And then I figure I will take this layer to the top. And then with the masking, I will take a brush and just take a copy of this background over here. And then on the properties, I can move this background now and cover the stem. And that kind of works. You see, it's just, it was giving me a little bit more trouble because it works. And then you have to keep duplicating this and keep patching the stem. And that is one way to do it. But I am not going to do that just because, well, I don't like to take the hard road. So I will just do it a little bit easier. What I will do, I will just export this for now. I will export this image 
and let's see i will save it onto my desktop i'm going to name it but um hummingbird and export it onto my desktop and then once that is exported once that is exported i will go to photoshop Oop, i'm sorry this is just uh, something i was working on earlier today another video for you guys and then i'll go to open into photoshop and open my hummingbird photo where is it over here and then here i will open it and first thing first i want to extend the background so i will unlock the background over here then i will take the crop tool and just move the image hold down shift so i don't mess it up just like that and then make sure the content aware fill is checked over here click on check and that will fix our composition and then the hummingbird and butterfly are exactly where i want them now, now let's get rid of this stem over here for that i will take my lasso tool over here and just i will uh, loosely draw around it make sure oops i got too close to the hummingbird let me do this again Make sure you do not touch the hummingbird or it will show like a smear around it. So go like that and then I'll go shift, delete and make sure you choose content aware fill. Click OK. And then I will do the same over here. Shift, delete and click OK. Now we have to take care of the little problems that we have. Command D to deselect. Get the, you know, clone stamp tool. And with the clone stem tool, make sure your it's very, very soft hardness at zero. Oops. And then click somewhere to get the sample and just, you know, paint around it to make it all blend in and look natural. I'm going to make my clone stem tool smaller here. And then to get closer to the hummingbird, I will change the hardness to around 50% and then take a sample right from right next to it. Make the clone stamp smaller. And, you know, just keep working on it until it looks right. Something like that. And to fix a little bit of the mess up I have here, I will go and move my flow to maybe 25% and make sure my hardness of the clone stamp tool is very, very soft at zero. And then I will take a sample maybe from here and just do it over here. Just try to blend it a little bit. You can also, oops, let me just put some more of this. And you can also take this blur tool. Sometimes I will do that. Check the blur tool, strength at 100, and just go over it and blur it a little bit. And then nobody will know what that was. It was out of focus anyway, just like that. And this is how I created this composite. I hope you learned something new today and this was useful to you. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing and I'll see you in my next video.